We tend to admire people who take on difficult tasks. Athletes, astronauts, firefighters. But you know who really raises the bar when it comes to doing a tough job? Good leaders in poor countries. When they set about trying to transform their societies, they face a huge range of serious challenges. From investing in infrastructure, to strengthening the rule of law, to providing fundamental social services to people all over the country. And underpinning everything is the big overarching problem. All of this needs money. Lots of it. Where can they look to raise this much needed cash? Well, they can borrow money on international markets if they have a strong currency. But if they don't, this usually isn't possible. Another option is to ask for help in the form of development aid from wealthier countries. Or they can try to raise money to help improve life for people from within their own economies through taxation. Most countries rely on all three to finance their development. In the long term, tax is by far the most important. This is because governments tend to make better economic and social progress when there is a strong social contract between them and the people. When a government goes looking to raise money from its own people and businesses through taxes, it has to get into a whole process of engaging with and bargaining with the different groups who operate in different areas of the economy. Those people then demand that systems be put in place to ensure the government's doing its job right and the money's being used as it's supposed to be. When ordinary folk are paying tax, whether it's on their income or taxes like VAT on the goods and services they buy, they pay closer attention to what their government's doing with the money. They start demanding things get done better. It means the government becomes more accountable to the people and it becomes more inclusive as well. But when a country relies more on loans or development aid, it's donors and lenders who call the shots and not ordinary citizens. That's not to say we shouldn't be providing aid and lending money to poor countries. There is a role for the right kind of aid, such as where there is a short-term emergency. But in the longer term, taxation is the best way to build prosperous, healthy and inclusive democracies. Tax is also more reliable than the other options. Donors' priorities shift, and the conditions that go with loans change all the time. And there's another important thing richer countries could be doing if they want to support their less wealthy neighbors. If they really want to make a difference, maybe they could stop facilitating poorer countries being robbed blind through the abusive international tax practices of multinational companies and mega-rich individuals. Every year, developing countries lose five times as much money to cross-border tax abuse as they receive in development aid. And almost all that money is being channeled to rich countries through a broken international system that only benefits, you guessed it, the rich. Even in countries where the money winds up, ordinary people don't see any of the benefits. It's only the mega wealthy elite that's raking it in. In the long run, what's really going to make the difference for poorer countries is being able to collect tax in a way that's fair. And it would be a mess of help if the rich countries who are complicit in robbing their economies would put an end to it by implementing proper financial transparency and writing off debt that can never be repaid. Is that too much to ask?